All right, hey everybody. <clears throat> I have a piece of silver maple here. I've already drilled it with the Ruth Niles. Um, I can't remember the size of the bit. I'll uh, I'll check that out and reference that down in the description box. It's already drilled. I'm going to tap it, and I think we're going to start off with the Ruth Niles mandrel that goes for my lay. This one's the inch and a quarter by eight TPI, and I think I'm going to start off with this. And then go to the off-center jig again. I did a couple of videos back. I did an off-center bottle stopper. So this is going to be my first attempt at an off-center finial for a lidded box. Let's get this screwed on the mandrel. All right, let's start off by getting it round. Okay, now that we're round, <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to go backwards from this. I'm, I think I'm going to switch over to the off-center jig, get that on there, turn what I want to turn, the desired shape or whatever you want to call it, then switch back to center and then get my diameter and the size probably a quarter inch or three eighths to go in, in the lid. So, uh, bear with me. It's my first time tr attempting an off-center finial. So, here we go. Let's try it. I'll be back when I'm all set up. Okay, I've got the off-center jig screwed onto the, the mandrel. As I'm threading on this piece, Looks like it's a little bit out of round, so I'm going to go on my center mark and retrue this up. I should have started with this, I think. So we'll see. All right, we've got it back uh, back to true. Okay, these are marked. I was at the center hole. I think I'm going to go to number two, just because I don't know what I'm doing yet. I went two on the bottle stopper; it came out okay. I might have to go to three, but. Uh, I'm going to start off with two. Okay. I've got that moved over. Brought the live center up. See, I don't have any, uh, I don't have very much meat right there to, to play with. So, like I said, I'm going to leave a waist end or a tag in here. Start my off center finial here down. So, and I don't want to go too far back because those threads that are tapped in there are probably in half inch, five eighths of an inch. So, we're going to be, I'm going to be using the Easy Wood Tools, number one hollower, um, just over 1200 RPMs. Light cuts. a little bit more all right I think I'm gonna leave that like it is move back to the center position and get this diameter smaller here 
Okay, we are back in the center position and uh, we're going to concentrate here, which is basically the base of the, of the finial. Always stop and check your work. Mm. Got some chip out or some tear out there, so. Dang it. Maybe we can blend that in later. I don't know. Looking kind of cool. What do you guys think? All right, I'm going to move this back to off-center and see if I can't clean that up. We are switched back to off-center, and I'm just going to try to clean this up right there. Took it down just a little too far. You can see that. I don't know. Might look all right. First one. What the hell? There it is. I think I'll do some sanding and uh, I'm not going to bore you with that. We'll be back uh, when it's getting wrapped up. Not bad. That kind of pisses me off. I wonder if I can take the skew, get it back on center, and take the skew and just kind of define that a little bit more. All right. I got that cleaned up a little bit. It, I don't know. It looks kind of good, I guess. I can always say I meant to do it. But really wanted that to be defined all the way around. I tried getting in there with skew. I, it was just, I don't know. So anyway, I got that turned, the tenon for a 3 8 for a future lid, or if I decide to use this piece or whatever. But anyway, kind of cool. So I'll get this uh, sanded up and uh, be back. Not going to bore you with that at all. All right, there it is. That sanded up to 220. Uh, I really didn't spend a whole bunch of time on it, but smoothed it out a little bit. I don't know, looking pretty good, huh? 
Guys, let me know what you think. It's my first attempt at a off-center finial for a lidded box. Anyway, leave me some comments down below. We'll uh, we'll be revisiting this as we move along here. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys a little bit, uh, share this first attempt. So, anyway, thank you guys. Appreciate each and every one of you. If you're not subscribed, please do. It's free. So, other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'm out. I'll have a couple of still shots at the end, too. So, anyway, guys have a good one. Thank you.